Sunday, November 9th, 2008, the province newspaper, province.com if you want to check it out. Dateline Ottawa, it should have been a proud Canadian moment in space as our first mission to Mars made a surprising discovery this fall. Snow is falling from the red, on the red planet, but the Canadian Space Agency wasn't allowed to talk about its achievement because its staff was muzzled during the federal election. Instead, it left NASA to make the announcement and grab all the glory. Canadian space officials refused to speak to reporters, even to tip them to NASA's announcement. Despite years of planning and $37 million of Canadian taxpayers' money invested in the Mars mission, they sat out NASA's news conference. Now the agency's own documents, released under the Access of Information, have explained the surprising silence. Political orders got in the way. It was late, last, late September, scientists at York University, funded by Canadian Space Agency, were operating a package of Canadian-designed weather instruments aboard NASA's newest lander, the Mars Phoenix. The University of Alberta and Dalhousie University were also involved. Since the Phoenix involved, reached Mars last spring, their instrument called LIDAR, like radar but using laser light, had been scanning the skies of Mars. It, records, it recorded haze, dust storms, clouds, and ice crystals, and finally something never seen on Mars, snow falling from the clouds. As communications staffers and scientists exchanged emails about how to announce the find, the space agency announced it, would be, it couldn't be involved. The agency's communications staff, staffer wrote to York staff, because of the election campaign, CSA, Canadian Space Agency, is not allowed to issue a release. Michelle Demers, president of the Professional Institute of the Public Service, is astonished to see the contents of the access documents. To suppress this good news, she said, just blows me away. It's so much in line with all the muzzling that has been happening, not only over the course of the election, but before and after the elections, he said. During the election campaign, no one was allowed to speak at all. She called the Mars discovery information that is not politically sensitive, but it is strictly something that we should have been proud of and we all should all be celebrating. <coughs> There was widespread gag order on the public servants during the campaign, she recalled. But she said that the Martian muzzling takes it even a step beyond. It's one thing to avoid talking about sensitive issues of public service management during an election, she said. But this one, there's no rhyme or reason. Plus, it, the discovery, is something to be proud of. The rules from the Privy Council office say that during an election, the government acts with restraint in confining itself to necessary public business continuing to communicate on matters that are routine, non-controversial and urgent and in the public interest. But they don't appear to prevent discussing something as non-controversial as a weather report from the planet 20 million kilometers away. The internal CSA documents show that there was considerable excitement about Martian snow inside the space agency. Very cool, wrote Alan Bernstein, Directory of the Plan Director of the Planetary Exploration and Science Astronomy at CSA, Canadian Space Agency. <coughs> so as I've said, if the polar cap, the northern polar cap is now dissolved or melted or become a uh, gaseous form of water, uh, this is obviously forming clouds on Mars. This obviously points to a solar heating where Mars is heating up now and uh, an atmosphere is forming, albeit thin, uh, may dispel the fact that we are causing global warming here on our planet if Mars itself is reacting to uh, moisture entering its atmosphere this way. Right on Canada.